It's post time for the complex final TSS Poseidon, Magenta, and Jugular. All looking for series sweeps. They're three of the favorites here. A full gate of 10 approaching the start for $100,000. And they're off, and there goes Jugular, who is charging hard for Pierce away from the gate, and he might clear him before the first turn. Lucky is, as Lucky does second, but a very impressive display of early speed from Jugular, who has cleared the field and made the lead. Go for broke on the inside, races in third. Ultimate Scott Tronic settles in fourth. TSS Poseidon fifth, and Lucky is, as Lucky does, looks to loop around Jugular. He's right out of the pocket for Ledford, now challenging for the front. Matt Genta tips out. He's on the move just behind Uncle Johnny as they hit the quarter in 27 and 2. Eighth as they hit the back stretch is Arts Regards, followed up ninth by a gapping Western Grin and Sports Fantasy trails the field as they head down the back stretch and Lucky is as Lucky does is on the lead. Jugular is now second. Ultimate Scott Tronics is going to take a try for Morrow on the outside. He's first over in sprinting, now within a length and a half of the lead. Go for broke, shuffle to bet TSS Poseidon to the outside and Matt Genta has his cover. Miller following the horse. He wants to third over the half and 55 and one. Uncle Johnny shuffled on the inside into seventh. Arts regards his fourth over on the outside. Then it's Western Grin and Sports Fantasy trails the field. Lucky is as Lucky does has the lead. Ultimate Scott Tronics is stalled a bit. First up on the outside. TSS Poseidon goes three wide right now. Jugular jammed in. He's going to need to shake free. And Magenta following the move of TSS Poseidon. Three quarters and one, 23 and one. They're at the top of the stretch. Lucky is as Lucky does is now two lengths in front. Jugular racing in second. TSS Poseidon on the outside. Magenta trying to come on. Ledford left-handed and Lucky is as Lucky does. Jugular pops out of the pocket. Jugular charging hard on the outside and it is Jugular to take the lead. Lucky is as Lucky does second. Pierce and Jugular have won it. Lucky is and Lucky does second. Magenta third. One fifty-one and four. Posted official and number 10 jugular is back to the winner's circle. A series sweep for him. He's won four in a row at the Big M. And Arts Place, five-year-old out of Naya Frayed by Naya Tross, all by Adam Victor, De Elegant Stables, and Carmen Iannacone of New York and New Jersey, trained by Noel Daly and Ron Pierce in the Sulky. Co-owner Adam Victor leads Jugular back to the winner's circle for Ron Pierce. That's his third victory in the complex final. Time for this mile, 151 and four. Great gate speed for Jugular. Puts him on the lead, then he gets the perfect trip for the victory here in the $100,000 final. Number 10, Jugular, pays 1220, 640, and 360. Finishing second, number five, Lucky Is, as Lucky does, 440, 320. And third, number six, Matt Genta, 340 to show. 10, five, exacta, 49, 60. The trifecta combination of 10, five, and six pays 195, 20. Just when you drew post 10, how, how long between you saw the draw and you decided you were leaving the gate? About the same time. He left, he left like a thoroughbred out of there. Is he, is he capable of doing that? Is this something new in his arsenal this year? Five for 27 last year, now he's four for four. No, this this horse will do pretty much anything you want to do with him. He's he settled down real nice uh, this year, and uh, he's very relaxed. And uh, like I said, he'll he'll do whatever you want. This is the best he's been. Oh yeah, by far. Okay, Rod Pierce, congratulations, Adam Victor. You came oh so close to winning back-to-back -back presidentials with Edie's Cam, huh? Uh, Edie's, Edie's was terrific. He was absolutely terrific. We're very uh, very glad with his run. That was one of the best runs I've ever seen. That's the horse that uh, loves the outside in the cold weather, right? He, he sleeps outside, he loves the cold, and he races well in the cold. Well, how did we wind up with Jugular? Jugular looks like he's another top-notch horse. Uh, this was a private purchase that Noel um, arranged for us about two years ago, and uh, uh, he's really now uh, uh, coming into his own. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but he, the way he's going here, it looks like he might be uh, able to tackle some of the big boys later in the year, no? Uh, we think that uh, we, we may be aiming uh, for him to race some of the big boys. I guess the, uh, we have a series for him in about a month, and we're going to see how he does. And... Uh, after that, he may uh, go after the big boys here. Yeah. Okay, Noel Daly, I like to call Noel Daly, and sorry, almost at back-to-back -back presidentials, Noel, but uh, Jugular, last year 5 for 27, this year 4 for 4. What's the difference? Uh, he just matured a little bit. You know, he, he got the trip there tonight, too. Uh, he's not the most genuine horse, but he's, he's definitely gotten better this year. He's definitely come back a bit more mature. 
Got him out of the gate in a big hurry there. I see a 25 and 4 on his line. Uh, where's he go from here? Uh, he'll have a little break and then he's got another series in a month's time. If it's one more series here. Edie's cam perfect somewhere they're heading. Stay in here or what? Uh, Edie will have a week off and um, he'll come back in a couple of weeks. And perfect son, normal's at 20,000 is about where he fits now. Okay, congratulations. Jugular has done it here in authoritative fashion. Complex final, 100,000 it's in.